We're here in Emeryville, California at Pixar Animation Studios. You might have heard of Pixar. It's the company behind Toy Story, A Bug's Life, WALL-E, Finding Nemo, Monsters Incorporated, Up, and the company's latest movie, Monsters University. Princess and I'm just a stable boy. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> Mom! What are you doing? Your grubby paw was in my bed! Were you kissing my hand? <laughs> no. And what about you with all your shedding? I don't shed. Really? I had just started at Pixar when the first movie came out, so I mean, I was a fan of Monsters, Inc. And um, just the idea of telling a college story and, and the idea of telling a story about a character that doesn't get exactly what they want was really appealing to me. I think with any Pixar movie, that's the thing that gets us excited, is the thing where we think, ooh, that could come off bad, or that could be <laughs> like the dangerous part. The part's like, are we really gonna try to do that? Because that could be, that's where I, I think we all get excited. Yeah. It's like, well, we don't have, we don't know. But I, I like that about whenever I hear what a new Pixar idea is, I think, I think, oh, how are they gonna sell that? And that's good, because it hopefully means it's original and, 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 and taking a risk. Right. Ricky and I both worked on the first Monsters Incorporated, and if you ever go back and watch the first one again, you'll notice that the same like 12 background monsters are everywhere. We just like repurpose them and put things in their hands and stuff. So I think, you know, we always said that we really use all the parts of the buffalo making that movie, and so I think both of us really wanted to make sure that we, you know, populated the world more densely this time around. Normally, in the process of Pixar is we would do the background characters later. As the story evolved and was kind of changing, we knew that we needed to populate this campus. Because we did it so early, it would help influence story. So story would come up with gags based upon some of these designs and then vice versa, they would come up with a gag and hopefully we can cast someone from this group. We need a slug for the, okay, let's look at all the slugs. I can't be late on the first day! <laughs> Pixar isn't structured like a traditional movie studio. Instead of bringing people together on a project-by-project -project basis, as a group of talented folks in-house across every single discipline. I worked in the industry for 10 years before I got here, so I worked a lot of different places. I was down in LA, and you kind of jump around a little bit more down in LA. Here, you just kind of stay. I've worked at places that are out the opposite. We have a term where, you know, oh yeah, well, you're, you're basically just a wrist there, and all you're doing is just drawing. You're not thinking, which I, it's really limiting. You know, you're really, you're really um, stunting the growth of the film or whatever you're working on if you're not allowing uh, an environment where creative ideas can rise to the top and uh, get the best product that you can get. From the very beginning, John worked really, really hard to form a studio that wasn't hire up a crew for one film, let them all go, restart again, and, and do that every four or five years. He wanted people to stay. That's you know one of the reasons we do short films, because we have projects that people can work on in between um, you know, the time on features. And uh, I think he, just, he, he really, really believes that it's important to keep people here and keep giving them new opportunities and new ex learning experiences. The studio's movies have a distinct look and feel. Almost immediately you can tell that you're watching a Pixar movie. That makes the need for fresh creative voices with different perspectives even more important. One of those voices is the director of The Blue Umbrella, the short film that accompanies Monsters University. I started in 2008 at Pixar in the camera and staging department, which basically does the virtual cinematography of the films. There's an open door policy at Pixar about pitching ideas for short films, so anyone can pitch as long as you have three ideas. And I just thought, well, I should as well just try it. It was based on a test I had shot just, just for fun on my phone, actually, of, of faces in the city, and then I had loaded them up on my computer one weekend and animated them. And that was part of the pitch I showed, just to show what I mean with a city coming to life. You talk to Pixar employees, and this isn't a fly-by-night kind of place. People are here for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. The studio does a lot to let employees explore different creative avenues and different disciplines they may not have the chance to look at otherwise. It's kind of a nice playground to have people try out new roles and new positions and even sometimes in different departments to kind of be a bit more playful with that. I've been animating since I was a kid, drawing on cards, and um, I was studying animation at RISD. Toy Story came out my senior year, 
they came and brought it to RISD and they were, said they were looking for an intern and I was the first animation intern. You worked on Monsters, Inc. as well, you said? Yeah, I was, that was the first film I was a lead on. I was a directing animator, which means I was kind of a deputy to the sheriff on that one. And then I supervised Cars up and now Monsters University. So what's, do you have a next one lined up or are you like stoked for vacation at this point? I am stoked for vacation. <laughs> I, I actually, I'm in between, uh, I'm gonna try some uh, storyboarding and, and uh, just approach animation from another angle and, and I don't know, we'll see what, what happens next. It is an incredibly supportive environment. So, so while it's a little bit scary, we have the confidence that we have this amazingly talented group of people around us to help us um, when we get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Pixar has recorded actors in this room for every film since Monsters Incorporated, and it's about to get even busier. The company has six films lined up over the next four years. The only question is, can Pixar's approach to filmmaking hold up under the volume? We've developed a collective style almost because it is so collaborative here and because the same people are working on the films for years and years. We are under an umbrella, but it's a very big umbrella. Yeah. It's exciting as new people come in, uh, they change that a little bit. I'm riding on a couple of things, but I'm also helping out on the upcoming features um, in, in the camera and staging department. So it's a mix of tons of different things because we always like, everyone works together to make the features happen. Um, and then on the side, you're doing other things as well. There's a desire to say, bring something new here, you know, right. what, what, what do you want to do? It will all get filtered into, a, you know what I mean, into a process that feels somewhat familiar, but that's all the more reason why you need a variety of people. That's all the more reason why you need a new outlook. We'll find out over the next couple of years how Pixar's aggressive new pace will work out. But inside the studio walls, the focus is the same as it's always been on creative collaboration and story, story, story. Sometimes we throw the whole movie out and start over completely. It's really a process of not falling in love with your work. If there is a problem with the film, we're all gonna get together and fix it. Yeah. And we're not gonna let go until we know we fix it. And if that means pushing a release date or if that means delaying things on other shows, we'll do it. And the most important thing is we're not really scaling up or changing the amount of time for the story, which is, the one thing that I think we need the time for. I mean, right. we're, we're creating more movies and putting more people on them, but we're backing, we're backing up so that we still yeah. give ourselves the okay. amount of time for story development that we need. Right.